Mosca. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here and we are back today with another FIFA 17 potential squad. This one is going to be Leeds United. I've covered Man City and Manchester United so far. You guys seem to be enjoying this kind of content. Basically what it is is a little rough idea of what their squad might look like in FIFA 17. Obviously it's on FIFA 16 so it is potential as you guys will probably see in the title. Um... But this one's for Leeds. Obviously, being a Leeds fan, it makes sense for me to do. It's also got a lot of Leeds fans subscribed to me because I always get requests for Leeds stuff, as you would imagine. So if you don't enjoy Leeds, fair enough. Just don't watch the video. Don't bother leaving hate because it's Leeds. Come on, guys. Grow up better. But anyway, we're going to get into it. And Leeds haven't had the best transfer window so far. They're linked with some good players. They've bought in some good players. They've also sold some good players. So it's kind of mess so far from Leeds. But I'll, t I'll give an insight of what ratings I predict they're going to be next season as well. Now, Leeds have actually signed a new goalkeeper. Silvestri was their goalkeeper. And I thought he would stay this season, but... They are on a training camp in Ireland at the moment, and he's been sent home. So I think that kind of indicates that he's going to be sold. They've also got a young goalkeeper called Bailey Peacock Farrell, who's not in FIFA for whatever reason. But I think he'll get the bench slot this year. And then Rob Green will probably be Leeds' number one. Now, a lot of people probably see that as like a not great signing. But Rob Green on a free transfer, for me personally, I think it's a decent signing for a young team. He's got a lot of... Well, he's, he's old. <laughs> Let's put it that way. He's got a lot of experience is the word I should use, really. And I think he's a good goalkeeper. Probably going to get a downgrade to a silver next year, just because that seems to happen whenever Leeds get a gold card. They're not allowed to keep them. But Rob Green is a good goalkeeper. I think he'll be a top-end silver next year, 74 rated. Decent stats for a silver. Probably one of the used silver goalkeepers in the league if people use them. So I think that's not a bad sign-in FIFA-wise and in real life-wise as well. Now, the centre-backs, they've got a few ones. They've got a new one in Bartley they've just signed, or on loan from Swansea. And I think he, he's almost nailed on to get a position for me. Um, I don't think you would loan a centre-back from like a Premier League club and then not play him. I'd imagine he's been told, yeah, you know what, you're going to get a lot of game time. And I think he's deserving. He's a good centre-back in real life. He's got a lot of, you know, different kind of league experience. I think he went on loan to Rangers. He's had a couple of loans over where. He's obviously played a little bit for Swansea, possibly. He's got medium-high work rates on here as well, which is nice. Six foot four, okay pace, good physical and not great defending, actually, for a, for a defender. Only 68, but you know what, that's all right. The other centre-back is the iffy kind of situation with Leeds. Now, they've got Sol Bamba, who in real life is actually... On FIFA, let me just say, he's unbelievable. In real life, he's very hit and miss. He looks unbelievable one week, and then the next week he'll have an absolute clanger. As does the guy next to him, Belushi, but luckily, he's actually left Leeds now. He's gone alone to Empoli, and actually think in the top league in, in, in um, Italy. They've also got this guy. So I think it's actually on their Irish tour. It's either him or his twin. He's got a twin who plays a striker. I'm not too sure if it's him or his twin actually they've got on loan because they look the same. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but I think personally it's either going to be Bamba. It could be Cooper because he's a good centre-back. But I'm going to go with Bamba now. But what I'm going to do is go on the bench a second. And they're linked with a centre-back. But according to sources yesterday, he has failed a medical. Well, not necessarily failed a medical. Something's come up in his medical, which has given him the chance to, um, to lead to kind of to pull out of the deal technically it was almost a done deal and it's a guy called a little glitch there hopefully i'm back um it's a guy called Extrand, i think he's called something like that we'll go for watford he is a silver center back last time i did this it kicked me out of the, of the thing so hopefully don't do that again it, i don't search my club one search concept it is this guy right here he is it was set to sign for Leeds, and like I said, something came up in his medical thing. He's got a problem with his knee or something like that, and Leeds are 100% confident that they are going to sign him. But according to his agent, the deal isn't completely dead, so whether or not he'll sign or not, I do not know. But if he does, I can see that being Leeds' partnership next season. Not going to lie, I can see if they're bringing two new centre-backs, it wouldn't be the end of the world if Leeds lose their centre-backs last season, because it's one of the bad things about their team was the defensive side of things. Leeds didn't score enough goals, and it didn't defend well, resulting in an average finish in the Championship. Lucky not to get relegated with a bad defence. But I think, personally, the extra deal won't go through. They may look into other ideas, but I don't know what that is currently. So we'll put Bamber into the team. The left-back one, I know who I want this to be. But whether or not this will be the case, I'm not sure. And like I said, I will give some ratings, predictions... This guy right here, Charlie Taylor, almost definitely going to get an upgrade. He had an unbelievable season for Leeds last season. Their player of the year. Getting linked with a move away to some Premier League teams. Quite a few Premier League teams are monitoring him, actually. And whether or not Leeds are going to cash in, because he is actually out of contract at the end of, well, this season currently coming up. He's still got a year, technically, from now. But, you know, you, you're going to lose him on a free technically, if you don't sell him now. So, if Leeds do sell him, I will be pissed. But I understand a little bit why they might have to because nobody wants to leave 
or it won't be a free technically if he goes to another English club. It'll be a, some kind of fee. But they are linked. So I'll, I'll, I'll move Taylor out of the team because a lot of people will say he will move on. They are linked to a left back. And he's a guy I don't really know too well. And it's a guy called um, this guy right here. He's got a lot of pace on all my team, so that's quite nice. He's called Rico Henry. Very, very young and apparently got a lot of potential. So please do sign him. I think that will be quite good to bring in a young player with a lot of potential because they've sold a young player with a lot of potential. It would be nice to replace him with, well not replace him, he's a different position, but with somebody with a lot of potential. Now I think this guy would be a good move, but he's also linked with Leeds as a winger, some people have said. So I'm not sure about that because he's a left back on the team. Like I said, I don't know a lot about him. I have seen cameos of like YouTube clips. I normally, every time Leeds are linked with a player, I look at YouTube, which is a bad idea really because it's never a, a, a real good example of how they real play in real life because YouTube just shows the good clips. Anybody could look good on YouTube. You look at me. Unbelievable scenes. But <laughs> the right back from Leeds is definitely not Scott Wooten. It is Berardi. I think he'll keep his place. He's always been quite solid. He's one of the, the signings we made from the from the uh, Italian leagues, which actually did work out. Him and a couple of others did okay. But I thought he's been quite solid. Had a few injuries. We just set him back. But apart from that, he's been pretty decent. I think he'll get a little upgrade next year. Maybe like a 71, 72 kind of rating. I think Sol Bamba's due a downgrade. I think he'll go back to like a 72 red. I don't know about Bartley. He probably needs some game times to uh, to get. A, he might. He might well get like a 70 rated. I don't think it'll be too much difference. But the, the two CDMs from Leeds are actually going to be two CDMs which are there at the moment. I think Diagaraga is going to keep his place in the team. He's French, and um, he had an all right season. We got him for quite a decent deal actually. I think paid like 600 to 500 k from from Brentford, and Brentford actually saw him as one of their better players. So I think it was a bit of a snatch personally. He did all right, but he was, he was in a Leeds team which wasn't amazing. So you can never really judge him too much. He did okay in what he could do. He scored two goals for Leeds, actually. Or maybe even three. I think he scored a couple of goals for Leeds, and he's not known for his goal scoring. He's a box-to-box -box kind of midfield player. Very defensive mind, as you can see the CDM on here. He's got some all right stats, and I'd imagine he is actually going to, you know, stay on at Leeds and do quite well. The other CDM is a guy who is at Leeds currently on here, which is Bridka, but he's not at Leeds in real life yet. But according to a lot of sources, Leeds just have to pay 500k and he can have him. Okay, it's literally as simple as that, according to some sources. He wants to come back to Leeds, they're saying, but Leeds don't want to pay a fee. Motherfuckers, skint bastards, what are they thinking? Just buy him. Five, I could even... Well, actually, I can't. That's a lie. No way I can afford a 500k. I mean, like, that doesn't... That's not a lot in football anymore, is it? 500k is labelled peanuts, which is crazy, because if I had 500k, I would be loaded. But anyway, I think they will eventually cave in and sign him. He's a player who did quite well for them last season. Quite inconsistent yet again, though. He's a good at the defensive side of the game, but his passing is awful in real life. So, so average. But the right midfielder is a new signing. I'm just going to double-check there haven't been a transfer card of him on FIFA. No, there isn't. Um, which is quite a shame, really. So we're going to have to go and get his Oxford card. That was okay. So we're going to put in Kamar Roof. This is a done deal to Leeds now. This is his um, team of the season silver card. He is actually a bronze default with not great stats. So hopefully... Um they'll get a better card next year, but I don't know. I don't know what type of card EA will give him, because if I see him as a bronze regular, he had an unbelievable season, like I said, did get the team of the season silver card. I think he will get a silver card, but I don't think he'll be top rated silver card. I think he'll get like a 71 or something like that. It'll be like a non-shiny, no in EA. Anyway, maybe four-star skill moves. I think he is better than three-star skill moves in real life. Bit of pace, bit of shooting towards him. He can play as a striker as well, but I think Leeds have signed him as a right-sided midfield player because that's probably one of their weaker areas. They have got Bataka, but I don't think he's a starter personally. Moving to the left side now, which I think personally is one of our better players. I really, really like this guy. Is Stuart Dallas, not Carriol. He was on loan last season. He's not come back. Obviously, you've got to consider we have changed managers, so a lot of them won't be coming back purely because new managers have new ideas and all that. But Stuart Dallas, a lot better than that card suggests, personally. I think he'll definitely get some kind of upgrade. He played in the Euros for Northern Ireland and did so well. I thought he played unbelievable, did his country proud, unlike a lot of English players, of course. But he did really, really well because they've not got a great team in Northern Ireland. A lot of, like, championship, low-end Premier League kind of players. So for them to do as well as they did, fair play to him. And Stuart Dallas definitely did well in that team. I thought he was a bright spark. He also did a cool little skill, skill move. I think he did like a, it would be like a one-star skill move. But he did like a little roll and he skinned the guy completely. But I think he'll get a nice upgrade next year. I think he'll definitely go with like a 70-71 kind of raid. A bit more pace, a bit more dribbling, a bit more shooting. An all-round better card next year, I am hoping. Now, this is a position I think Leeds need to sign someone in. They're not linked with anybody currently. And it's very frustrating to see that they're not actually linked with any kind of attacking midfield players. They were obviously very heavily interested in Forestieri last year before he went to Sheffield Wednesday. Absolute nightmare, of course, situation for a Leeds fan. But the guy they have got who has potential in that area 
if this loads will be... Oh, we ain't got any cam. Sorry, sorry. Apologies. He's a centre mid. It is Alex Mowat. Now, he has potential to play that role. But will he is another question. Now, I want Leeds to go out and sign a cam, or a number 10 as I like to call it. I just don't know who. I, I mean, it's difficult to say as like a fan. You want them to buy the better players, but who, who would be a good cam? If you're a Leeds fan, please let me know in the comment section below because I've been really thinking about who may well be their cam next year. I do not know. Like I said, this might not even be the formation they play, but it's the formation that suits their players best, in my opinion. And um, like I said, Alex Moa has a lot of potential. Hit and miss. Well, he can score some cracking goals, though, so you can't give that a miss. But the lead striker, I think, will still be Chris Wood. They have bought Antonson. They paid £2 million for this guy. So you've got to have something about him. Not a great FIFA card. By the way, that's the other twin. Makai looks exactly the same in real life. Um, so I'm going to go for Chris Wood. I think that's, that's nailed on that he'll get a start in the team. He's, got a, he's, he's such a good potential player. He didn't have the best season for Leeds. Again, got a few injuries, which didn't help. But when he did play in cameos, you could tell he was a top striker. He, held, he holds the ball up quite well. I think somebody like Kamar Roof coming into the team can only help Chris Wood. Absolutely. I think he'll be brilliant for him. So that's pretty much the Leeds team, I think. They are linked with a couple of players, like I said, Ekstrand, uh, Rico Henry. Uh, they're also linked with just a new winger which you don't know there's also a guy which they have signed which isn't on fifa which is a guy called sacco from sporting lisbon on loan he's also a winger and um he, he, he may actually be able to play that cam role they said all across the front or what they could do potentially not that crikey kamar roof into cam or as a deep second striker because he can play that role and then play sacco or even bataka over on the right hand side but for the for arguments of ultimate team's sake he's a right mid so i'll put him over there they are linked with a couple of other players not really too much open. We've got Leon Osman they're linked with. Obviously, the, the older player from... Uh, he's been released from Everton. They're linked with him. They're also linked with a couple of other, like, um, experienced players. And I think that's exactly what they need. So we're going to have to watch this space with Leeds. But I would imagine it would be something along those lines, personally. They would have to sign Rico Henry... Uh, Brig cut, and that's about it to get that team really. We'll take out Rico Henry for the time being, then put a player they have actually got, which is Taylor. So potentially not a lot different from what they have now. Obviously, some of the cards are transferred, i.e. Green and Bartley, respectively. But let me know in the comment section below what kind of team you think Leeds will have if you're a Leeds fan. If you don't support Leeds, and I imagine you don't even care, but hopefully you have enjoyed the video to some extent. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. I will catch you next time, and do bye-bye. Boo!